and welcome back to a new video on the channel in today's video we're going to be driving through Bene republic specifically from the capital which is port novo down to the commercial capital in kotonu so stay tuned and if you're just coming across this channel for the very first time you're welcome my name is fever opera and i am a travel and lifestyle creator please do well to hit the subscribe button so you stay alerted anytime i post new videos from the title of this video you already know we're going to be driving around Bene republic but first we'll be starting from port novo driving through port novo down to kotonu so i want you to stay tuned okay while we we'll discuss about some certain things that i think you need to take note of while on this drive through firstly i want you to note that port novo is the capital of Bene republic and another thing I want you to note is that this drive through did not go through the entire Port Novo. We just drove through the routes we are going to be taking to Kotonu. Do you get? So there are other fine places in Port Novo. So I don't want to just conclude by just what you see from this initial start of the video, okay? Another thing I want you to note is that Kotonu might be a very popular place, you know, in Benin Republic, but it is not the capital. It is just the economic capital. So that's why you see a lot of beautiful structures there and a lot of international embassies and so many things you can think of, okay? So now, I just want you to just take a look at the roads. I want you to take a look at how cars move. Take a look at every means of transportation we are going to be seeing here and i want us to discuss that in the comment section okay so anything you notice just drop it in the comment section we can talk about that so now i'm going to be sharing my own thoughts and my own little experiences of what i noticed during my stay in Bene republic okay please emphasis on my own thoughts okay i don't know if you've been to Bene republic and i don't know what you saw but i'm going to be telling you what i saw please <laughs> first and foremost is the fruits i noticed while driving from port novo to Gotonu. the fruits there are really nice for the first time in my life i saw red mangoes yes red mangoes and i couldn't stop to get it you know because we we're on the highway but then when i got to kotonu trust me i had to get some for myself and i tried it it was actually nice and i know this might sound insignificant to you like and what is mangoes like doing in a drive through video but yeah as someone who left her home country nigeria to a new country i needed to take notice of every single thing i saw on the streets of Benin republic so please bear with me okay <laughs> If you notice this path we've been driving through has been kind of you no know, rural like a rural area but this is just the outskirts of port novo while driving down to kotonu but then when we get to kotonu you're going to see the sign post that it says welcome to kotonu and the other french version but for now just you know just stay keen stay keen just take a look and i like i said please take notice of what you are seeing while i even tell you what I, I noticed okay first and foremost what i noticed on this road was the bike men the people who drive bike do you think the number of bike riders like you've seen so far is more than the number of cars you've been seeing because for me i think that the number of bikes here are much but then we have to keep going for you to see why i concluded and said so so yeah aside from the number of bikes being so much on the streets of Benin republic i really noticed that the bike riders all wear helmets so as we're driving through just to take a look at them and tell me if you see anyone at all that's not wearing a helmet and that is something i applaud so much about the people of Benin republic and another thing again i noticed during my stay there was that everybody is driving normally like every single person drives on his or her own lane even at t junctions you know these things i'm saying you're going to see it further in the video but i just need to explain it to you so you know at t junctions where you're supposed to see road 
officials directing vehicles to you know pass a particular route so that it doesn't cause go slow here you hardly see officials like that because everybody knows how to drive <laughs> it's just as if i don't know how they did it but i just admire that fact that everybody is driving on his or own designated lane there's a reason why i said designated lane because when we are entering kotonu you are going to see that every single means of transportation has its own routes cars have their own routes bikes have their own routes trailers have their own routes and that was really interesting to see but like i said this is just the outskirts driving from port novo to kotonu so you will not really notice all i've been saying okay but henceforth just take a look at what i have been saying okay aside from that i also noticed that unlike major parts of nigeria where you see keke like tricycle here the bikes are they are more than tricycle like you hardly see a tricycle you ha it's very hard to see tricycles plying the road in these streets of the republic <laughs> and another thing again is that while driving through this route we notice that there is also what they call a toll gate just like the one at lagos nigeria where you have to pass every single car going from the mainland to the island has to pass through that toll gate and you know like deposit money i don't even know what it's for but yeah there's a toll gate too at Benin republic that anybody is driving from port novo passes through to go to kotonu next on another thing i took notice of while we were driving or while we we're on this route viewing this city was that i noticed that the method of their housing was quite different from the method of housing in nigeria in the sense that their roofing is really really different from nigeria's way of roofing you hardly see the same type of roofing like roofing with zinc or all this you know roofing material i can't really begin to call out now but yeah i noticed that they just have basically kind of open roof buildings or just flat i don't know the names please if you know the names please tell me in the comment section i'm gonna check it out later but yeah that's what i noticed that their roofings were not kind of same with that of nigeria you get but they have similarities like the look alike of the streets is not really that different from the nigerian streets it's just the organization that you tend to you know differentiate okay i'm no longer in nigeria i'm now in another country okay so yes another thing again i noticed that the roads the roads are really good like really really good really good the roads are good they tried and just for people that don't really know Benin republic is a country in west africa which is bordered by different countries like nigeria Togo, and aside from that it's a french speaking country meaning the main language spoken here is french so if you are not a french speaker or you don't speak french and you visit please get ready to get the app called translate so you'll be able to communicate well except you're with someone who knows how to speak english to communicate with you because virtually everybody on the streets of port novo will tell you oh i don't understand english it's just very few like it's very few so that's why you need to get that app so you'll be able to navigate your way if you want to you know communicate to the locals because definitely when you visit a new country you have to you know get yourself involved with locals either by transportation by visiting places restaurants markets and all that but if you're in luck you can also see people who speak yoruba in this country because you know it's close to lagos so you find people who speak yoruba there that all understands yoruba and if you're someone that's the yoruba speaker then you're in luck last thing i noticed is that every bike man aside from wearing helmets they have a uniform that they wear and majorly the color is yellow color so but at this point we are very close to the toll gate and from here i would like you to just stay in while you observe other things that i might not really say right now 
so just enjoy the ride and while you're watching please don't forget to hit the like button and also share this video so that more persons can see what this place looks like today and whilst you're at it don't forget to subscribe so you see more videos i have tons of travel videos to come and previous ones you need to check out okay <laughs> Yo quiero ser contigo un poco. 
pictures and we still don't know Where were you before you were born? Oh, space and time before the light Or does that story just make you bored? All the ways that we're gonna die What's here? Yeah. 